Hey y'all, welcome back to the Tiffy Journey. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Tiffy. Welcome back to my channel and my journey. Thanks for joining me again. So today I'm gonna to be doing another debt payoff update. And so I am pleased to announce that in, as far as paying off my Capital One credit card, I am almost there. I am this close. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I've made great strides and I am totally on track right now with paying off everything that I wanted, that entire card. And so originally my goal was to pay off the card by the end of September, October 1st. And so due to a lot of other factors and, you know, just life happening <laughs> as it always does, um, that goal, I didn't make that goal, but I'm very close to it and I'll be paying off my card within the next 14 days. And so I'm only two weeks behind my original goal of paying it off. So I'll be paying it off around October 14th or 15th. So I didn't make my original goal, but I'm very close, and so I still have lots to celebrate. So, I just made a payment, and I was trying to do some math to make sure that, because I'm still waiting for it to be, like, updated and reflected online. And so, I made the payment yesterday. <laughs> and so, I made a payment of $220, and I believe when I did my last video, my balance for Capital One was $714, I think. And so, after making that, and I just, I have to figure out how to work this calculator on my iPad because I don't know what I'm doing. So, I don't know why. Like, the calculator was not automatically just on the iPad. I've had this iPad forever. But they got all these new features and stuff. And um, they've changed, they really changed things around. So, anyway. So, yeah. My balance originally. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. I'm trying to figure things out. One sec. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm back. I figured it out. <laughs> so, um, so my balance as of my last payment about two weeks ago was $714.76. And so I just made a payment of $221, which would take my balance down to... That is not... Wow. Okay, so Apple just did this update. And if anybody has like an iPhone or any Apple products, you'll know they, they didn't change everything. And now stuff is not working the way it was working before. It's not looking the way it was looking before. And I'm a little confused, but I'm going to get it together. <laughs> so <laughs> I just re-downloaded the calculator app on my iPad. And it keeps telling me the different features. And I just want you to give me the number that I'm punching in. So those are my problems. This is ridiculous. You know what? Apple is messing up my video. Messing up my video. Messing up my whole type of video. Anyway, I hope you all are enjoying your day while I waste your time. Um, yeah, so my day was pretty good. The weather was great today, you guys, even though it's cooler. Oh, you know what? I wasn't wearing my glasses in the first half of this video, so I might need to start over. We'll just go with it. <laughs> I'm wearing my glasses because I can't see. Because <laughs> I'm not wearing my contacts. So, oh, it is nice, though, the new calculator update, because now they have scientific. You can do currency. You can do fractions. You can customize. But for this one thing, and I guess at this point, you'd probably be saying, why don't you just do the math in your head? Because I'm tired, <laughs> and my brain's not working right now. So I'm trying to use the calculator so that, oh, maybe I'm just not hitting it hard enough. Could be. Okay, so as of right now, my current Capital One balance is $494.76. Yay! I am so excited about that, you guys, because one, that balance is slightly smaller than I was anticipating it to be two weeks ago when I made my last payment. And so, because I, you know, was able to like rebudget and be real conservative and stuff and come up with some extra dollars so I can get ahead of schedule since I'm a little bit behind schedule and, you know, take some stress off myself. So, like, last time in my last video, I made payments, extra payments of, like, $500 or so. And so, this month, I, 
originally I think I was only anticipating being able to make an extra payment of like $150, but I found some extra money. <laughs> so I decided to throw it at it so I could be done with this Capital One as soon as possible. And so yeah, I ended up making extra payments of, I think it was like about extra $70 I was able to drop towards this. So I did that and I ended up paying $220, which puts me slightly out of schedule. And so my balance, now I have just like six, less than $6 under $500 mark. <laughs> So I'm really happy about that and I'm super excited and I'm so happy to be on this journey because I'm seeing the progress from all of my efforts and I hope that you all, this is a really short video, I hope that you all are also making project progress on any debt you're trying to pay off or if you don't have any debt, congratulations to you, kudos, you've already passed that point in life and you're now saving for something, it could be something small, it could be something huge, it could be a purse, a really nice purse, it could be a house, it could be a car, it could be a special vacation to celebrate a milestone in your life, anything that you're trying to do that involves finance, I have been enjoying sharing my little baby steps to getting financially free and being able to make wiser decisions with you all. And so I hope that you all share your journeys with me because we can motivate each other and we can bounce ideas off each other um, about different things that maybe I didn't think about to try to pay off debt or different things that maybe you didn't think about, about ways to save and cut down on your expenses. So you can put more money towards the things that really matter to you. And so in my years of doing like financial, re and I'm, I kind of work in like, in essence, in the financial industry. So um, I'm, I have access to like information and stuff about what people are doing in the markets as it pertains to different types of vehicles and stuff. And so I have some kind of insight. I'm like interested in finance. And so not just debt and paying off debt, but just how you finance things and what different types of things people finance and why the motivation behind it, like the psychological, how we psychologically make our decisions about things that we purchase and what we our money into and what we value and so all that type of stuff is really interesting to me and I think that it's um great to talk about it and I'm so happy there are a lot of different for example like podcasts and stuff that I listen to specifically for women women of color who like to talk about finance as well and so it's always good to have a community where you can come together and you can talk about the ups and the downs and your goals and things you're trying to accomplish and just know that like you're not alone and there's always going to be somebody else out there that is in the same place as you or has been where you have been in the past or will end up where you are right now. You know, we're all like a big circle and everybody's on a different leg of the race in essence, if that makes any sense at all. But yes, so that is my update for Capital One. And again, please, 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 please share where you are in your journey, your debt journey or your savings journey with me because like I said, I appreciate the feedback and it's motivational for me to see where other people are and to see where I am and how far I've come and how far they've come and I can have motivation if you've already surpassed where I'm going. And so I think that that is great for us as women first and foremost, because women can be good at finances as well. It's not always the impression that it's given, but as women, as brown women, we too can be successful in everything we try and want to accomplish, especially in finances. Oh, oh, and another update, something I just found out from one of the podcasts that I listened to. Oh, and one of them, one of my favorite ones, Currently right now, is, of course, I always listen to like Dave Ramsey and Hall, his personality, specifically one of his personalities, Chris Hogan. He's an older African-American gentleman who used to play football. And he has a book out called Retire Inspired. And so talking about after you paid off your debt, how you work towards retirement and savings, your savings goals and all of that. And how you can, you know, basically live the last half of your life better than you lived the first half. And you can, you know, meet all your goals and just have a good time basically you can totally have a good time in retirement you know but he has a new book coming out called something about life once i it's on it's coming out in january i'll put the link probably put the link in the description box below i just got off on a tangent because that was not the original book i wanted to tell you about another book the book that motivated me from the very beginning to start my dead journey was the millionaire next door and that book was first released i want to be i want to say like in 1990s and so I think his name was Thomas Stanley, something like that. But anyway, so his daughter 
created has like revived the book and created it from her perspective and so she's actually releasing a book called the next millionaire next door and so i can and that book actually comes out in october so like you know a couple days i guess i am so excited about the book and i am going to get that book for real because the first book the millionaire next door really 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 for me gave me great perspective on the fact that the majority of the millionaires specifically in america are regular people who did not inherit anything but worked hard and saved a little bit of money for a long period of time and so they made little efforts little tiny took little tiny baby baby tortoise steps they weren't like the hair running they were like a little tortoise just trotting along for like decades and decades and decades and decades and they made it to millionaire status and so that really gave me motivation that I can do it and you can do it too because all the millionaires that we, the majority of the millionaires that we have in the United States right now were self-made in their own generation by through doing that little baby steps over time. And so I'm just very excited to read her book to see what, like her spin on things and talk about her wealth and how she's achieved wealth or what she's, she's also surveyed people. So you'll get to see lots of examples of what people are doing, what they have been doing. And just, it's great, always great to revive things that let the average person know that they can achieve something great if they just set their mind to it and stick with it and they have consistency over a long period of time. So, I'll definitely be checking out that book and I can do a review for you all or if you all are also going to get the book, let me know and we can read it together and start like a book club or something. I think that would be fun. Yeah, we could start a book club. That would be cool. We could read it together. And I wonder, I don't think they have it on audiobook. I because I'm in school, I really enjoy a good audiobook because <laughs> I can rest my eyes and just listen to the book <laughs> as many times as I need to. But um, I'm, I don't think that was an option, so I'm going to have to buy the hardcover. But I, I don't even think it costs 20 bucks. If I remember, I was looked for it on Amazon. And so, like, it was pretty affordable. So I think that's what, every time I pay off a credit card, I always buy myself something to celebrate with cash. And I it always wanted to have meaning. So, like I said in one of my other videos, like, for example, I bought a planner and I bought a couple of other people's books that I was interested in that I, like, stumbled upon as I was working through my debt journey. So I think I'm going to buy the next Millionaire Next Door book to celebrate paying off Capital One in two weeks. So I think that's like perfect timing, right? I think that'll be how I celebrate paying off that credit card. And so it'll help me propel myself into millionaire status through a lot of little baby steps over a long period of time. So yeah, that was my debt journey. I'm super happy to say, well, I didn't make my October 1st deadline. I'm only about 14, 15 days behind that. And so right now my current Capital One balance is $494.76. And so I will be paying off the complete balance of that in a couple of weeks. So I will come back to you all with a little celebration on paying off that credit card so then I can move on to the next. <laughs> And thank you so much for watching my journey. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post new videos about my debt journey and you can share your journey with me, whether it be about debt or it be about saving for something that's important to you because I want to hear all about it because it's always great to know you're not alone and that there are other people working on goals that are similar to you. So thanks for joining my channel and my journey and I will talk to you all soon. Toodles!